Hi everybody. Welcome to your science lesson. Today we are going to learn why the nature is a recycler. Let's start. Nature is a recycler. The question is why? Nature is a recycler because nature is in charge to reuse organic waste. Let's see. First, we are going to learn two important words that you need to know. First, we have decompose. Decompose is to decay or rot. When an animal or a plant die, they decompose. What is the next word? Rot. What is rot? To decay by the action of fungi Next, when plants and animals die, they decompose or rot. They are part of the soil and get reused. Here, I have two different types of waste. Yes, non-biodegradable or dry waste and biodegradable or wet waste. Non-biodegradable waste. Here we have paper, fabrics, metals, glass, rubber, and thermocol. In this part, we have biodegradable waste or wet waste. Here we have different type of waste. For example, cooked food, eggshells, bones, vegetables and fruits, but in this case, fruit and vegetable peels, yes? Not the fruit, peels, fruit and vegetable peels. Fruit and flower waste, leaves and other compostable materials. And also we have kitchen waste. These are examples of things decompose quickly. Yes, as you can see here, we have fruit and vegetables. So they decompose quickly. And here we have flowers, leaves, and kitchen waste. Here you can see banana peels, orange peels, egg shells, and other waste. They decompose quickly. Decomposers. Decomposers are in charge of clean up the waste. Yes. In other words, decomposers are recyclers. Yes. They recycle. In this case, they recycle the waste organic waste. Here, the first decomposer or recycler is the worm. Yes, do you know worms? 
here we have mushrooms or fungi, insects, and bacteria. Here I have an example. People make composed beans, as you can see here, composed beans to make natural fertilizer for the plants. And this is the process. Yes, people make this composed bean. Yes, they collect here all the waste, organic waste. And here, mushrooms, as you can see here, and worms work to clean up the waste. Finally, this is the natural fertilizer. And here it is ready to use for the plants. Here, as you can see, we have two bags of natural fertilizer. And here, I have a clear example of a plant with natural worm casting or natural fertilizer, yes. Here, I have a plant without fertilizer. And here, I have a plant with chemical fertilizer. And in this part, I have a plant with natural worm casting or natural fertilizer. So, as you can see, the best fertilizer for the plants is the natural worm casting. In conclusion, people use the organic waste for plants. So the question is, metals, plastic, and glass decompose? No. The answer is no. Metal, plastic, and glass do not decompose. But people can recycle and reuse them. Yes, you and me recycle or reuse metals like cans or plastic bags or plastic bottles. What can you see in this landfill? This is a landfill. Can you see plants here? No, right? I can see plastic bags, plastic bottles, metals and other type of trash. The question is, which of these decompose? Remember, metals, plastic, and other bi non-biodegradable waste don't decompose. But the question is, which of these decompose. The answer is the lettuce, right? Here we have a light bulb and a lettuce. Of course, the lettuce decompose quickly. Yes? So, 
Listen. These decompose slowly and this decompose quickly because this is biodegradable waste or biodegradable plant. The question, the other question is, what recycles nature, people, or both? Here, as you know, the nature is a recycler, of course. But people recycle as well. The answer is both, nature and people, both. So, right now we are going to talk about natural resources. Which are the natural resources? They include the air, the water, minerals, plants, and animals. They are limited and cannot be replaced. Everything that people make comes from natural resources. And here I have two examples. People use the sand and people use the oil and both are natural resources. Yes. So this is important information. The metal as the minerals are resources that cannot be replaced in our lifetime. So let's see some examples. You can make glass, this is the glass, do you remember? You can make glass by heating ordinary sand until it melts and turns into a liquid. Here you can see the process. People use waste recycled glass, sand, calcium carbonate, sodium carbonate, plus the heat, and the result is the glass. Yes, this is the process to get the glass. Here I have another example. And aluminum can can is made from metal. Yes. And this is the last example. People use the oil to make plastic bags yeah, or plastic bottles as well. So now you know why nature is a recycler. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye for today.